Corey of Freshwater Fish Rescue making a quick video on a egg catcher or an egg trap for tetras. Uh, DIY out of a coffee pot. So basically what you want to do or what you're going to need is a coffee pot, just any glass coffee pot. It'll have a metal band around it. Um, I've already removed it. Uh, it's just one screw right here. You just take that screw out, uh, and then the band will come off, and then you can remove the handle, just like this. So like I said, the screw is right there at the base, the band comes right off, and then what you're going to need is uh, some type of small mesh. Um, there is this uh, type of... It's for sewing. You can get it at an arts and crafts store, but it's like a real uh, a plastic uh, grate or mesh. I don't know what they use it for, but I got this. Um, believe it or not, this was underneath of a uh, beef roll, and uh, yeah, I saved it, not knowing what I was going to use it for, but I knew I could probably use it for something, and now. Here it is. So what you're going to need is a little piece of mesh or something uh, that the eggs, the holes have to be, I would say, three millimeters, uh, possibly four, four millimeters, uh, just something uh, small enough to where the fish can't get down past it to eat the eggs, but the eggs uh, can still fall through and essentially be trapped in the bottom. So what you're going to do... <clears throat> Excuse me. Is, uh, there's a lip in the bottom of the coffee pot. Um, you just want to trace out, um, you know, a, a section of the grate that is uh, the circumference of the larger circle. And then you're going to place it on the inside of the pot. Um, and then the center circle will be the actual egg trap where the eggs collect. I think it would just be a lot easier to do it this way. It's a smaller uh, area, so the female won't be able to hide. And uh, when they spawn, uh, it'll be quick. They'll only be in here for a couple hours. And then you remove the parents, and then you'll be left with the eggs uh, in, in the bottom. And then... Uh, yeah, then you can uh, easily put them wherever you want to put them or transfer them uh, into a different tank. Or you could just grow the eggs um, until they're free swimming uh, in this pot. Uh, versus, I made a tray for this tank uh, that goes just all the way across the bottom in a 10-gallon, which worked. Uh, I do have eggs everywhere, if you look. Um, let me try to find some. Okay, here we go. Uh, there are the white dots in the center of the screen. Um, yeah, there you go. There's three of them right there in the center. Three, four, five. Um, those are the eggs. Those are what are going to be trapped in the bottom of the coffee pot. Um, I made the mistake of feeding the fish, like in this tank, you know, the day of breeding or spawning. And uh, now I have all this detritus or leftover nonsense at the bottom. And I don't know if that's going to cause mold or what. But, um, yeah, I just think that this will be a better... Uh, alternative with it being smaller and uh, uh, more um, compact. So uh, let me get this uh, traced out and cut out and put in there and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, it's traced out. Horrible job, if I don't say so myself. But uh, that wouldn't be good. Okay. Okay, so now <clears throat> it's cut out, and the trap, um, 
is in the center. So as you can see, there's no uh, places. As right now there are a little. It looks like there are, but um, there would be no place for the fish, the tetras, to get uh, to the eggs. This rock or this grate that I have here, I'm gonna uh, decorate with hot glue and uh, fake plants. Uh, a little bit in the center with a couple little rocks to kind of keep it weighted down. Uh, this rock's a little too heavy, so it's it's just kind of uh, pushing a little too hard. But, as you can see, um, it's going to work fine. Just got to get some, uh, the right amount of weight at the bottom, in the center. Uh, that way it's not completely pushed up towards the ground. And then um, this, this particular plastic mesh has a, uh, like a natural bend in it, which I face downwards. Uh, and that's what's going to kind of hold it up away from the bottom a little bit once I get the fake plants and stuff in there. So I'll get that done and show you what that looks like. Some of the things I grabbed to use, uh, this is the rock that I originally had sitting on here, which I'm not going to use. Some lighter rocks, I got some shell, um, some of this fake uh, plastic plant stuff that I might be able to use for like, uh, similar to like, say, um, you know, uh, grass or a spawning mop. I'm not going to use a lot of it, just a few smaller pieces. And then, um, you know, just little branches off of fake plants. And I'm basically just going to hot glue them or poke them through um, these holes and kind of make it look like a little, uh, just not so bare, basically, to make it more comfortable-esque, you know, aquarium, to make it look more aquarium-esque. So, um... This is still just a concept, so I don't know if it's going to work. It's, it's, I'm pretty, I'm fairly certain it's going to work. So let me get that put together for an example, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, <clears throat> here it is. Nothing special. Just a couple rocks for weight and uh, plants for cover. Uh, we'll see how it goes. There you have it. Let's give it a try. 